Firstly, as you see, I am back in California, the Golden State. Yes, indeed, the capital of the 21st century, the last stand of the American dream, the personal fiefdom of Gruesome Newsom, who has replaced the undead governor, Brown. <laughs> but although the undead governor is gone, he's not forgotten. And? Uh-oh. Yes. Today, I was reading the Pasadena Star News. You know, people from Pasadena are a little bit better than most of us. So their newspapers a little bit better, not in an, in an obtrusive way, more like a quietly genteel wasp sort of way. In other words, it's not like they rub their superiority in your faces. It's just we all understand and accept our place when we go to Pasadena. But anyway, uh, the editorial, I have to say, I agreed with completely. Reject far left ethnic studies curriculum. Now, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, the capital of the great state of California is Sacramento, which is kind of a dump. Uh, you may have noticed that we would take colonial capitals like New York, New Orleans, Santa Fe, well not Santa Fe, they kept it there, but uh, Monterey here in California, which were very nice places. Yeah. And then we moved the state, when the Americans would take over, we'd move the capital to a dump. Why did we do that? Because Sacramento is a dump and Monterey is beautiful. I know, and uh, Baton Rouge is a dump. And New Orleans is beautiful. That's weird. San Antonio is lovely, and Austin's a dump. Hmm. Well, don't. Well, maybe the Texans will agree. Our, our, our all of our popularity, so much of it is from Texan. Well, Texas, and so. we and we love you guys, but come on, San Antonio versus Austin, really? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, but but don't feel it's just Texans. I mean, except for Massachusetts and New Mexico, and Hawaii, of course. Well, when we acquired a, a, a foreign colony, we inevitably would move the state capital to some dump. How is that a policy? I mean, like, is there anything behind that? Well, the only thing I could guess is they figured it would stimulate internal settlement. You know, if you move it, like, look at Pennsylvania. I mean, the capital is Philly. And then they move it to Harrisburg. Yeah. That's... So the only thing, the only reason I could think to do that is to stimulate growth. Or New York. I mean, moving it from New York City to Albany. It it never worked, though. It universally never worked. Well, yeah, but you know how we Americans are. It should work. Okay. And as long as it should work, it's our right as Americans to see it through. Okay. Look at Woodrow Wilson. Look at FDR. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Anyway, I bring all this not to bag on Sacramento, although it's a city that's easy to bag on but rather on the morons that inhabit the Capitol building, specifically the Department of Education. The Department of Education of the great state of California has issued a uh, proposed ethnic studies curriculum, which the Pasadena Star News wants to reject. But I want to bring this, I want to broaden the conversation. I want to bring it away merely from morons in the state of California and extend it to morons around the country and the globe. All morons should be included, even if they are in charge. So, two paragraphs here are what I want to draw your attention to. Speaking of the guidance, this is a, sa a sample of the language used in this proposed curriculum. Quote, The foundational values of ethnic studies are housed in the conceptual model of the double helix, which interweaves holistic humanization and critical consciousness. According to the draft curriculum, the guiding values and principles of each lesson in ethnic studies will cultivate empathy, share stories of struggle and resistance, and my personal favorite, and critique empire and its relationship to white supremacy, racism, patriarchy, cis-heteropatriarchy, capitalism, Ableism, I guess that means that you're not a, a, a basket case. Anthropocentrism and other forms of power and oppression at the intersections of our society. Okay, let's unpack this. Yeah. Let's tease this out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever encounter someone who writes or speaks like that. He's a moron! I don't care where he is. 
He's a moron. If he's your college professor or college administrator or the author of some idiotic book you have to read, he's a moron. Or she, or it, or all three at once. I don't want to predetermine a person's identity for them, if indeed they have any. But this is the kind of garbage that tax money is being spent on. Not just in California, but across this great nation of Oz. And indeed, around the globe, and even in the corridors of uh, educational power in the UN. Uh, this is madness, ladies and gentlemen. This is just drivel. This is a pipe of sewage pouring out into a pristine steam. Yeah. Yeah. So be alert, ladies and gentlemen. When you hear that kind of mealy-mouthed drivel, that's what it is. Smash it. You want imperial structures of power. What do you think the state educational system is, the government educational system? Where these uh, moronic, half-baked, elderly Marxists could determine the course of someone's future by whether or not they agree with them on the on the uh, basis of awarding grades. There's your structures of power. I like how that person said patriarchy. Yes. And then cis, cis, cis hetero patriarchy. Like, was it hetero cis patriarchy? At like. Cis hetero as compared to trans homo patriarchy, yeah, <laughs> which also needs smashing, I guess. I mean, Th those are just why would she, why would those modifiers be added? Because they're, they're stupid people, the dum dums, the morons, stupid. They need to go to safe places. That is to say, retirement homes far away from teaching. If you hear this drivel in a class, in a public place, in a book. Shun it. Do not contribute to it. Do not go to universities, colleges, or schools where this drivel is done. Do not pay for books where they, that, that, are, that, that use it. Laugh at it. <laughs> Laugh at it. It is the most horrendous thing. I'm going to take this a step further while we're here. This is part, and of course, a, a large portion of our studio audience are, in fact, uh, young white males. So, I have to tell you something. It's this kind of drivel that creates the kind of madman that shot up El Paso. You've heard all these morons yapping about how, oh, it's Trump's uh, rhetoric. Oh, no, it's not. It's your rhetoric, morons. Because, see, here's the thing. You've got... Decades of an uneducated public that don't know anything. And then you smack them around and kick them. Well, the less stable of us, the less intelligent of us, those of us who are at once less stable and less intelligent, sometimes don't react well to this kind of abuse. Now, to be fair, the guy that shot up Dayton was Antifa. You're not hearing that, but it's true. He was Antifa, and he also had some... Um, Affectional issues. Yeah. That's why his sister was uh, one of the victims. But the path of true love was never smooth. Anyway, what? what? Anyway, the that was uncalled for. Anyway, the point I'm making is we live on a steady diet of drivel. Do anything you can, ladies and gentlemen, to cut it out of your life. Because if you don't, and if you're either not that smart or not that stable, you'll obsess over it. 